BitTorrent is an internet protocol which supports peer-to-peer -peer file sharing to distribute large amounts of data around the world. Developed by Brian Collin, a computer science graduate at the University of Buffalo, BitTorrent takes the stress of transferring large data files from one massive server to every user over an extremely well-built network connection and splits it up into multiple smaller PC and multiple smaller networks. The first time a file is being uploaded, there is a single seed or user who is uploading the file to the first downloader. So a torrent will be relatively slow when it has just been created. However, once the original upload or download process completes, the user or users who downloaded the file, also known as peers from the original seed, turns into seeds. And then the more popular the file is, the more seeds are created and the faster the speed will be for newcomers. That is the beauty of P2P file sharing. It allows the cost and burden of uploading data to be easily split between hundreds or even thousands of individuals. A great example of torrent technology used in the real world is Linux OS. Downloads are free. When a user opts to use torrent rather than a direct download, the developers are happy as they can spend less on bandwidth so they can spend more on improving and adding new features and the ISPs are happy as a load of uploading a new version to thousands of users is essentially split in multiple regions reducing the chance of network congestion. Okay, you might say then why haven't the direct downloads been made obsolete by P2P? Firstly, they are slower for smaller files and less convenient for inexperienced users. A torrent also takes time to ramp up to full speed and requires use of third-party software like Qubit Torrent. Secondly, with the entire community-driven P2P, the file creator doesn't have any direct control over the network download speed. It depends on the number of peers who are already downloading, the number of seeds uploading, and the aggregate speed of all those seeds. While you can make an educated case on the health of the torrent based on how many seeds and peers are present at a given moment. Third up are leeches. However healthy your torrent is, you need to watch out for leeches. In theory, every peer can begin partial file sharing with other peers as soon as their download begins. So the folks who do not have the full file yet are strengthening your network. But leeches are those peers who intentionally reduce their upload speed and then just stick around as peers just long enough to complete their downloads and then close off the torrent so they do not have to help other users. Now if a creator is willing to pay for dedicated peers, these problems go away. But in that case, they might as well offer their users a convenience of direct one-click download. So it is not perfect, but it is really cool. So why does the torrent carry such negativity? Torrent gets their bad name from users and companies who use them unethically. In this case, usually by sharing copyright materials like music and movies. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Comment about it. Share it. And as for always, subscribe to SS Tech Studios for more videos like this.